and small. This is your teacher, teacher Ian, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama, Northern Province of Zambia. Today in social studies, we are still looking at weather and climate, which is the major topic that we started a long time ago. So last time in social studies under weather and climate, we looked at the topic on rainfall. We looked at rainfall. So when we are looking at rainfall, we defined what rainfall is. And we said rainfall is the amount of precipitation in the atmosphere. Then from the definition of rainfall, we also identified the units. The units in which rainfall is recorded or measured. We said the units for rainfall is millimeters. That's what we said. Then upon looking at the units, okay, we also said there, there's an instrument that is used to measure rainfall. And we said the instrument is called a rain gauge. We say the instrument is called a rain gauge. Said a rain gauge. Then we said this rain gauge should be placed 30 centimeters above the ground. Then we also said on the map there are lines that are drawn joining places of the same rainfall. We say these lines are called ISO yes. We said the lines are called ISO yes. So in summary, this is what we discussed last time under the topic of rainfall. So now today we are going to look at rainfall, but we we'll look at another interesting lesson which is called wind. We are going to talk about wind today. Okay, so today we are saying we we'll look at wind. So it is also important again to define what wind is so that we understand. Sometimes people ask us to say, are you going to see wind? Are you going to, or to touch? Okay, sometimes we, we answer and say, we just feel. And perhaps even using our eyes to see, okay, the position of trees and other things to show us to say there's wind on that particular day. Just like we say, the weather can be described in different ways. We say windy, hot, warm, cool, and others. So now, what is wind? Wind can be described as with air in motion. Wind is described or defined as air in motion. That's, that's right. We are saying wind, wind is defined. Defined as air in motion. In simpler ways, others say wind is air that is moving because the word motion, when we say the word motion, we mean something that is motion is moving. Okay? Something that is in motion, it is moving. That's why we say wind is defined as air in motion or air which is moving. So the same wind, it has something in it. Sometimes we say properties, properties of wind. Once you are asked, okay, by somebody to say what are the properties of wind, these are the things we are going to look at. So the first thing, wind has direction. Wind has direction, okay? You can tell to say, oh, this is the direction in which wind is blowing, either from south, west, or east to north, in whatever direction. That's why we are saying one of the properties of wind is direction. Wind has direction. The other property is force or strength. Wind has strength. Okay. Depending 
on how heavy wind is on that particular day, we've seen that sometimes even you know roofs, different things are being lifted up because of the same wind. So it has force and also strength. Then the last thing we can say, it has speed. You can tell using something that at what speed is wind blowing. Okay, so we are saying the properties of wind are number one, direction. Wind has direction. Number two, we are saying wind has force. It also has strength. Then at the same time, wind has speed. All these things can be involved in one. Okay, so make sure you understand. You know, teachers use different words to confuse you, or maybe you know they want you to apply something. They may say, can you list the three things that, you know, is involved in wind? Or you may just be asked to say, can you state the properties of wind? So when we say properties, we are saying things that are in wind, things that are found in wind. We are saying wind has direction because we said wind is air in motion. Something that is moving should have direction. Something that is moving should have the force and strength. Something that is moving should also have speed. So, upon looking at the properties of wind, now what, you know, there are something or instruments, we are calling instruments that are used now to measure wind. What are these instruments now? that are used to measure wind, you know, are used depending on the properties, depending on the properties, okay? So get me right here. When we say instruments, for wind, there are three instruments. These instruments, the first one, who either, you know, used to tell the direction. Another instrument will be used to tell the force. Then the other instrument will be used to tell the speed at which wind is blowing. So the first instrument is called wind vane. Wind vane. Okay, this instrument, it is used to tell the direction of wind. This instrument is used to tell the direction. So we, have, we can say it is used to tell, which is used a direction of wind. Okay, so if you want to know the direction, okay, the direction of wind, you can just go and have this wind vent. So we are saying in simpler ways, wind vane is an instrument that is used to tell the direction, specifically the direction. From which direction is windy blowing to? Is it from maybe south or whatever direction you can use the wind vane? So number two, we have the wind sock. Wind sock. The wind sock is another instrument under wind which is used to tell the direction and also used to tell to tell the direction the direction and the force or strength of wind. Okay. So we are saying, if you want to tell the direction and the force of wind on that particular day, you use a wind sock. Just like the word sock, you know, it looks like something like this. It will have a pop, then it will have something that will look as if maybe it is a sock when mounted on this pole. That's why it 
is called a wind sock. So just because of this, it is termed as a wind sock. So we are saying, if you want to know the direction and force or strength of wind, you can use a wind sock. So in the same way, sometimes in past papers or whichever questions, you may be given some drawings. So we are saying, this kind of a drawing is a wind sock. We have another instrument which is called anemometer. We have another instrument called anemometer. That instrument is called anemometer. Anemometer is another instrument that is used to measure the speed of wind. So this one is used used to measure to measure or tell the speed the speed of wind so please here I'm emphasizing do not confuse these instruments sometimes we may ask you in general to say can you list or state the instruments that are used to measure wind? Here you can just say anemometer. You also list or state wind vent and also wind song. But sometimes we would love to be specific. You be you be the uh, specific where we say, can you state or name the instrument that is used to measure the speed of wind? When we just talk about the speed. Remember to say the instrument that is used is the anemometer. Then when we ask you to say, can you name the instrument that is used to measure the direction and at the same time the force or strength of wind, you just say it is the wind sock. Then sometimes we can ask you to be specific and say, what name is given to an instrument used to measure the direction only? It is called the wind vent. So basically, this is what I prepared for you under wind, which is in under the topic of weather and climate. Now, there's something that I want us to confirm on this chart so that we understand more. So we said wind is air in motion, and we say for us to understand the definition here, we are saying the word motion simply means something that is moving. So we are saying wind is air in motion, it blows from one direction to another. We say this same wind has three things in it. Number one, it has direction. Number two, it has force, where we are also saying strength. So these are just the same. Then we are saying it has also speed. Then we are saying now instruments used to measure wind. Number one, the wind vane. The wind vane is an instrument that is used to measure or tell the direction of wind. It, only, it is only used when you want to tell the direction of wind. Then we also have said wind soak is used to tell the direction and the force or strength of wind. So we are saying a wind soak is used to measure two things. It can either be used to measure the direction Okay. Then at the same time, it can also be used to measure the force or strength of wind. Then the last instrument which is used under weather is the anemometer. Anemometer is used to tell the speed of wind. So please have this information in your head so that wherever you go, you use it. Whenever you meet a question talking about wind, at least try to attempt and be sure of what you're going to answer. So at this moment now, I want you to write the exercise. So the questions are as follows. The first one says, state the properties of wind. You mention the properties of wind. Then number two, what is wind? What is wind? Three, dash is an instrument used to tell the direction of wind. You are going to write the, the name of the instrument that is used to tell the direction of wind. Then number four, what do we call an instrument used to tell 
the direction and the force of wind. You mention the instrument that is used to tell the direction and force of wind. Question 5. Name the instrument which is mostly found in airports to guide pilots. You also mention the instrument that is mostly found in airports to guide pilots. The last one says the speed of wind is measured by an instrument known as dash. So this is where we have to end. This is where we end. And thank you for watching. You have been with me, teacher Ian, a grade 6 teacher at Fountain School in Kasama. Until next time, I say bye.